We gather today to celebrate these sacred mysteries. We pray for our personal intentions and also for our families, for the sick and the elderly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Steer up the wheel of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw in heaven another sign, great and awe-inspiring, seven angels with the seven last plagues. For through them, God's fury is accomplished. Then I saw something like a sea of glass mingled with fire. On the sea of glass were standing those who had won the victory over the beast, and its image and the number that signified its name. They were holding God's harps, and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, or glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All the nations will come and worship before you. For your righteous acts have been revealed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great and wonderful are, your, are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. The Lord has made his salvation known, and the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Before the Lord, for He comes, for He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Please stand. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons. And they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand. For I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will, you will be hunted over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they'll put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Someone said that God never promised us an easy journey in life, but only a safe arrival. Ito po ay totoo sa ating buhay bilang mga Kristiyano. Our life as Christians is not just a bed of roses. It has turns as well through persecutions or in the forms of sufferings and hardships. Our gospel for today highlights these realities as Jesus Christ spoke to his followers. They will be seized and persecuted. Indeed, life in this world is not an easy one. Patuloy natin na makaharap ang krus, ang hamo ng buhay, dahil lang sa katutuhanan, ang mga hamo ng pagiging kristyano, ang pag-uusig dahil sa katutuhanan, at pagsasabuhay ng buhay ni Kristo. But my brothers and sisters, we should not worry because tayo po ay tutulungan ng Panginoon. In the Gospel, Jesus again assures us or assures us what to do and how to defend ourselves. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand. I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking. My brothers and sisters, we just need to persevere. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. Kailangan ay magiging matyaga po tayo sa pagharap at pagsasabuhay ng buhay ni Kristo. Our life is for Christ by following Him even in martyrdom that is to become witnesses. Are we ready to shed everything even our own blood? St. Cyprian said, when persecution comes, God's soldiers are put to the test. Sabi pa nga ni San Agustin, Ang mga martir ay iginapos, ikinulong, hinagupit, hinampas, sinunog, at kinatay. Pero hindi sila umatras. Sila ay dumami. Mga kapatid, Ito ang buhay kristyano. Huwag tayong aatras, magiging matyaga dahil kasama natin si Kristo. At magiging tapat dahil ang Diyos ay tapat din sa atin. Whatever happens, ang katapatan ng Diyos ay hindi 
magbabago. Let us persevere and let us be faithful to God. Amen. Please stand. The world and its people belong to God. Let us entrust ourselves to Him and believe and hope in God's protection. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church may look at the future with faith and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through our acts of kindness, the despised, the rejected, or unloved in our society may experience God's care in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have, her, we may have firm confidence in Jesus, who opens our eyes to the beauty of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may see and feel God's healing presence in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That perpetual light and grace be granted upon our deceased relatives and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives, so that we may walk in the light of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I receive the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love. Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For in goodness you created man, when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say...
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your great church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, the world have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin na inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng Amen at isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po ninyo isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog dito. Salamat po.
Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the seed. God, our Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to honor the glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh.